So it's almost a chameleon in the pupae stage. Because mm. birds don't like shiny things. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Those are orchard swallowtails and they're eating lemon tree leaves. Now that there is a pupa for the orchard swallowtail. They are from New Guinea right through Australia. And you occasionally see the wild ones down here. So and this is a pupae for what? That's a pupae, oh he's just moving. Um, that's a pupae for the orchard swallowtail. Mm. How did it move like that? Well, it's transforming inside that. It's transforming from being a caterpillar to being a butterfly. When they pupate, they shed their caterpillar skin and underneath it they're a different colour, but they go right back to their original DNA and reform themselves as a butterfly in there. So it's creating itself into a butterfly form. It moves around a bit. If you spray them with water, they'll move. If they're on a green leaf, they'll be green. The same butterfly. Mm, would same be. butterfly. So it's almost a chameleon in the pupae stage. Mm, mm. Yes, it's disguising itself as a stick. Knock me down. You're kidding me. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's fascinating. Yeah, I mean, here's the couple here. That's from the dainty swallowtail. That one pupated on a stick. Here's the same butterfly. And it pupated near a green leaf, which is now dry. But you see the difference in the colour. Same butterfly. Same pupate. butterfly. Mm. on a different coloured stick and it's a different coloured pupae. Yeah, this one here. That was how you can see that there's a brownish leaf there. Well, that, that leaf was green when it pupated. Have you tried painting a stick in fluorescent purple, for instance? <laughs> no, I haven't. That might be an interesting <laughs> test. <laughs> a wonder caterpillar. Yeah, their colours um, are bright and uh, indicator in the, in the natural world it, it basically says, don't eat me because uh, I don't taste good. Yes. Mm. So they've all got different strategies. And what leaf does he have in there? That's what is a milkweed that? leaf. Oh, okay. Yes. He's not eating at the moment because he's just at that stage where he's grown too big for his skin. So he's going to be casting it off and there'll be a new skin underneath. So they do that three or four times. They call it an instar, that time in between when they cast off their skin and get a new one. Okay. So they'll grow big. We've got some big ones here. And what they do is um, when they're ready to pupate, I have them in these containers because they climb up and then they'll hang themselves upside down like a letter J, like this one there, before they split their skin off. And then underneath is the green of the chrysalis or the pupa. So they're now hanging upside down to turn into pupa? They are. I can just take them out and hang up the, the pupa. What's there this one? Well, that's one of those. No. Hmm. That's a wanderer. You see what I mean about them appealing to children? They're very colourful. And they've got the, the gold dots around them to confuse birds. A number of um, insects will do that. They'll be coloured a certain way to distract birds or to confuse them or to send a signal that they're poisonous. But these guys use dazzling, a bit of camouflage uh, with the green and then uh, the gold dots. Because birds don't like shiny things. And why is the pupae so small compared to the actual caterpillar? The caterpillars shrink themselves up. When they cast their skin off, underneath will be like a blob of green jelly. And they wiggle around and shape themselves into this shape. I'm just getting like blown away. This is just incredible. <laughs>
So you have them all hanging here in your house? I do. I had a big influx of them because a wild female appeared at Christmas time. Out of, I don't know where she came from. She might have been one that had overwintered from my last season. I don't know. But she laid eggs all through my garden. And every day I was going out there bringing in eggs, bringing in eggs, bringing in eggs. And I, I had dozens and dozens of them hang all over this. I called it my chrysalis tree. And you say one on here? Oh, yep. There's one on here. See, it's a bit like lichen on the stick here. He's made himself like lichen. Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's another orchard swallowtail disguising itself. Isn't it extraordinary? Yeah. You'd think that that was part of the stick. Wait till you see the butterfly. So that's the orchard butterfly. And what were these ones? Those are the wanderers. Wanderers. They're really big ones. Yep, but these are even bigger. The one you showed me on your phone. Yeah, that's a wanderer. They come out of that little thing. They come out of that. But they're so big. Yeah. Really? Their wings are all folded up. Their body is sort of short and fat when they come out. And then when they come out, they, their body elongates and um, their wings unfold. And then they pump their wings with fluid um, to keep them strong. And then they have to wait for them to dry. So the whole, from the time they emerge to when they can fly, usually takes a couple of hours. And when will they go into your butterfly house? Uh, well, a lot of them will let go. So they hatch here in the house and then you open the door and out they go. Mm -hmm. Wow.